Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskarov from Laravel Daily Team and Laravel Daily Video Channel. I'm back again with a new video. It's not exactly daily now, it's more like weekly, but I'm trying to keep up at least once a week. The topic of the day is generating migrations from existing database. We all know about Laravel migrations. We can uh, create migration files and then run them one by one, and then add more and more, and then uh, create more and more tables. But what if we have an old project which was generated, the database was generated without migrations uh, with like PHP MyAdmin or SQL Pro or by hand or even not within Laravel, maybe not within PHP even. Uh, so you have a database and you have to uh, create a Laravel project from it and Laravel migrations. And there is a package, you can see it on the screen, Xethron Migrations Generator. We will test it out just in live mode and see how it works. I've, I've tested it once or twice before, mixed emotions, let's see how it works this time. So I have a project here, a small project, a uh, small database generated by our quick admin panel project with like what, nine tables with some relationships as well, so we will see how the package generates foreign keys and all that relationship stuff. Uh, so let's begin, I guess the, the instruction is composer require Generator, did it work? Right, yeah, it did work. Yep, updating dependencies. <clears throat> While it's working, we will copy, copy stuff for our config app. Come on. Did it take that long? Well, anyway, we can move on with changing the config. Mm. Providers here. These providers here. Okay. And then register. Of course, we need that. That's an important thing, actually. We need to register that uh, only for for using not in production, so on local or staging. So, so this provider we can register. I think. Yep. So we copy this here. Good. What are we doing here? Right. Yep. Installing. Good. Um, and yeah, that's it. I guess we've installed it. At some point, these underlying things should disappear because PHP Storm should should recognize those new classes. And yeah, so to generate the migrations, we will run command migrate generate and see what happens. Just like that, generate. Come on. PHP Storm is working hard because my MacBook is just shouting at me. The processor, the CPU usage is probably going to send for a while. PHP Storm is actually resource consuming, so that's good. Okay, what? Okay, but it should be successful. I hope. Yeah, at least these are not underlined. Okay, let's go. Let's go and run migrate generate. Using connection. Do you want to log these migrations in migrations table? No, not for not for this. Created migrations created finished. I actually had old migrations, so I probably should have deleted them. Yeah, so those are Okay, let's see what I have here. Create categories table, looks good. Create media table, that's for uh, Spotty actually, media, uh, media library package. Model ID, model type, okay. Automatically assigned this. Password resets, that's a default Laravel from what I remember. Post tag table, oh, okay, the first one well, that's interesting because this table is actually a pivot table for posts and tags, but it's creating it before those tables. Okay, 
Oh, right, I see here. So uh, what that package does is generates all the tables first and then adds foreign keys. So see, um, the table was created here, the pivot table, then all those other tables. Actually, I think it's alphabetic order. Yep, categories, media, password, so letter by letter. Uh, yeah, so it generates all the, all the tables and then all the foreign keys. So let's actually try to run migrations. I will delete all the previous migration files. Should have done it before actually, but still. Okay, and for now we have a clear database. Clear database. And let's run artisan migrate. Wow. Worked. <laughs> Worked. Okay, so let's refresh. Looks good. Migrations here all in one batch with foreign keys. Let's check the foreign keys structure. Actually, relations. No relations for media. Oh, yeah, this one. Hmm, that's interesting because there should be. Relations for um, model ID. Maybe it missed some foreign keys. Foreign keys to post, foreign keys to users. Users role ID. Category ID. Okay, so I'll have to check that out. Actually, the project itself it should. Yeah, it doesn't throw any error. So I guess I guess it was successful. Of course, I would need to check if all the data is correct. For that, I would run seeds. Actually, let's run seeds. I didn't have them. Uh, I think it's open for roles and users. Yeah, it works. So probably we can log in now into our admin panel. Success, see? We have user management, we have CMS, so those modules from Quick Admin Panel. So yeah, the package works, and I can recommend that. Of course, the test was on quite a small project. If you have like 50 database tables with complex migrations, it should be more complicated, but still quite impressive. So uh, the link for that package, or how can you find it, except from Migrations Generator, I will link it up in, in YouTube description as well. Uh, have you had any experience with that package and what maybe you're using something different for generating uh, admin, uh, generating database from generating migrations from a database sorry yeah and uh, I thought about those videos in general so I don't leave any contact details on how can you contact me or if you want to ask me any questions or maybe hire me for development or my team or we have questions about our quick admin panel. So here are my email, pavelos at laravaldaily.com. Uh, shoot me an email, just let's get in touch. And uh, yeah, see you in the next videos of Laravel Daily channel.